Arsenal take on Chelsea. Watch for us by Gary Neville and Martin Tyler. Hazard might get a shot away here. They have to get a corner. Four from Callum Chambers. You talk about sort of an experience. Ozil finding a pocket of space in behind Chelsea's midfield. And goes like his ex, referee. It looked as though he was going to turn away and let play go on. But he's given the free kick. I think he knew. The tail of that he was playing for the free kick, it was an extravagant fall. Just sees that he's going to lose the ball, he waits for the challenge, bites it, and goes down. This and Arsenal lost their legs. Sanchez takes, there is a deflection, and it took it away from the goal. If it had been inside that post court, to I would have been stranded. Yeah, a helpless goalkeeper who just hopes. Space for Ozil on to Sanchez. Counter attack from Arsenal here. Ozil oh, must have been just a bit behind him. Clever combination all the way up the pitch. Yeah, it really was. He gets into a good space. Ozil, Bakayoko just getting drunk. There's Morata for Hazard. Good hit it from there. Probably was just going to go past the far post, but it's a corner. Well, it's noticeable again, Christensen came forward this time, for the times recently. Oh, Morata's away here, Check decided not to come, and Alvaro Morata is in, and has placed it wide, well wide. And what a chance. And Callum Chambers, whatever happens, even if you think your goalkeeper's going to come, you don't stop. That's the last thing you do, there's a couple of nervy moments already, the young defender. He's not concentrating, he's actually talking to Jack Wilshire whilst the ball... To Moses. Hard and low, and Morata again. He should never get there. The centre-back at the near post holding, he should block that. There's no way that should ever get into that situation. I thought it would be a test before the game. Christensen can't clear it. And both oh. posts are out from Sanchez. You don't get any closer to that without actually scoring. Well, he's still asking for the penalty. I'm not sure it was on reflection, just off the reaction of the Arsenal players. But this is a deflection. He's a brilliant goalkeeper. This one, so close to him. Lots of power. Great save. And then, great fortune. Nas is on the move and he's quick. He's clever. Oh, there he goes. Anthony Taylor had a very good throw as the player involved in the penalty claim as well. I have to say, I've seen this like two or three times, he trips over his own calf, and that's why there isn't any reaction from the ass. Not a Chelsea foot in sight. No, maybe the leg just comes back and hits Moses, but certainly not a penalty. Ozil, Lacazette, turn and hit. And another good reach by Courtois. Well, Bakayoko's understanding of his position at this moment in time is really poor. He gets drawn infield this time towards Kante. He doesn't need to be there. Look where he is. And just leaves Ozil in a position whereby he needs to be picked up. You can't allow him to have that space. Lacazette maybe just doesn't quite get enough on it to cause Courtois more. He scored 13 headed goals in the Premier League this season. And that's not going to be number 14 from the number 14. And it's Fabregas. Maybe he'll do it here with Bakayoko, and it certainly was a shot on target, powered away by Czech. Yeah, makes a good run through. Maitland now is just outside the line, needs to be inside. It helps Czech. The shots close to him and high, I think if he's not... Towards, uh, a posse of players there, including Cahill, okay. Morata and Alonso. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Caleb Morata just yeah. standing there on the goalkeeper, unmarked, and then just drifting off Potacek into positions that are really dangerous against players like Jack Wilshere, who should be nowhere near, really. 
threatening in their attacking play. And there's been turnovers in particular down goes Fabregas, caught by Wilshere. Booking. And the booking. Well, it was a good challenge by Bellerin on Hazard. And Wilshere tried to follow it up, but he was never there. Fabregas was always favourite. First one's a good one. Second one, not such a good one. It's there, it's a type of actual tackle that injures himself sometimes, is Jack? Trying to get in behind Arsenal. In the end, it is Baka Yoko. Yeah, he uses whether Rob Holden put him off, but I think Fabregas is probably blaming his teammate for not reining this in. No, he didn't, he didn't know whether to use his chest or his thigh. He got stuck in between, it's a wonderful pack. And hesitation by Lacazette, runs for Morata. Baka Yoko, challenged by Chaka. He started to move away, the referee, and then looks off. Decided to give Chelsea a free kick the right on the edge of the area. And he looks soft. Initial reaction. Chelsea back it up well, can't take it at the edge of the ball. The Spaniards have been so contributing to Chelsea's tally, but not this one this time. Surprised it was the wrong technique. Far too much pace, and it has to be a lot softer than that. It's not the whip from that close. One of the, I was going to say, guys, that one of those where you say, well, it is a bit too close. Yeah. Ozil doesn't matter whether it was a foul or not because Arsenal still have the ball, and Ozil's got it and has a crack. Suddenly <laughs> has Courtois diving away to his left. And he's walking away beneath me, Antonio Conte, and I'm watching his reaction to Mesut Ozil again. Bakayoko getting drawn far too close. To Kante, and then he's in behind, off the back. Jacker, good block by for the Quetta. Sanchez, that could mm. maybe in two minds. Suggested he would have a future back at Arsenal, and he got injured. I actually thought the ball was there for him to win Fabregas. I think he did win the ball. Mm. Yeah, so. Got a booking. Yeah, Clearly feels he's unjustified. Yeah, to me, that's just a good tackle. I mean, people will point towards a follow through, but what's he expected to not go for the ball? That's ridiculous. He has to go for the ball, he wins the ball cleanly. And he gets booked our, our for cameras, it. But he's got Chelsea in with a chance of opening the scoring before the half time whistle goes with Fabregas. Well, he doesn't take that chance. Beautifully set up by Eden Hazard for Cesc Fabregas. Wonderful from Hazard. I just said. Probably a little too early about how good Mesut Ozil has been, but it's a really good challenge. see for Alvaro Morata, who galloped clear, but uh, fluffed his lines at the end. Alexis Sanchez did not stop by check. The goalkeeper's doing well at both ends. Alonso, and again, fine header, fine save. Lovely pass from Fabregas. Ball into the strikers. Bakayoko. Really good pass up to the front player from Aspilicueta. Support from Fabregas. Arsenal's turn. They get the better of Courtois. Oh. Have been a bit lower for Alexis Sanchez. They might have done. Yeah, I said in the first half that Moses refused a one on one with Maitland now. It's not the other way around. Boy's confident, fancies himself. Double lollipop. Gary Gale just loses. Well, shit. I see him to Herzl's feet. To Lacazette from Sanchez, and again, it's the goalkeeper that stops some delightful football, giving us an opening goal here at the Emirates tonight. And it's Ozil off the back of Fabregas and Kante this time. It's right. I just wanted to commentate here where if he tries to go for the dink, you say, why didn't he blast it? <laughs> <laughs> but when he blasts it, you say, why didn't he go for the dink? He goes down a little. Yeah, he'll be... Very concerned about this Chelsea counter-attack. Uh, been booked for it. He was looking to not get the actual yellow card for the previous one. Confirmed it that time. Well, I would say his bold goalkeepers are having exceptional evenings. Oh, they're, they're superb. I mean, you, you can see why, <laughs> in the end, Chelsea, to be fair to Pedicek, to let him go because they have... Hazard to strike it. Not strike it particularly well. Alonso going in. Doesn't get too many goals from that kind of distance. Alonso to stand it up. 
Exactly. Back for Yoko. A bit of retrieving here by Marcus Alonso. And the deflection makes it awkward. Just dips in front of the goalkeeper. Just... That's it. But, uh, the whistle had gone. And Alonso took a chance. He stood it in the first half and stood and asked for the free kick. And in the end, he got it. Just watch, there's a block from Mustafa. Oh, the mistake by Asper, Aguetta, Ozil, Lacazette, Ozil, not really as he draws Asper, Aguetta in the, as if he's going to cross it and then plays the one-two, unstoppable, he is unselfish. Oh, a little run for Jack Wilshere! There's the breakthrough! And Jack really is back! Sanchez, Lacazette is there. And, uh, so close to two and two. And they're cutting through Chelsea. The runs, that back three are all over the place. Should he hit it first time? Sanchez, it all closes up on them after that. As I'm trying to do all he can to change it. Down he goes. Penalty for Chelsea. Arsene Wenger on the wrong end of a penalty decision for the second game in a row. The Last best. game of 2017, first game of 2018, and he's livid again. He wasn't happy at West Brom, he's not happy tonight. This is recent record, short approach, and he does the job. Hazard levels. And Arsenal have lost the lead again by conceding a penalty. Well, Arsene Wenger, who's mm -hmm. likely to get him. Holds him up. Zappa Costa works away past him, and it's put away by Marcus Alonso. The left wing back with a striker's finish. Chelsea in front. They've come from behind, and it's a Spaniard who's done it which has been a feature of their Premier League goal-scoring this season. Well, it's wing-back to wing-back. It's a wonderful pass from Willian. I said earlier in the game, he's been brilliant, Maitland-Niles, but can you test him? He's not a left-back, and Zappa Costa does. Just gets a yard on him and smashes it across at the near post. Arsenal centre-backs are static, and Alonso's on the move and makes that run. That crucial run across the near post, it's a wonderful contact from him with his right foot. I have to say, it's not easy. It's... And by Mustafi. Bayern! Brilliant! 2-2! Arsenal refused to give it up. Still two minutes to go. Well, you can't say they haven't deserved it. Chelsea did drop off. They invited the pressure and the keeper alive, Arsenal. The challenge is there. Alonso can't clear his lines. Then you're just asking the question on a very difficult half. That's the game of football. Arsene Wenger's side led through Jack Wilshere. 